different day. So it's uh, Sunday the 5th, or pardon me, Sunday the 4th. Our mask box and the bottom brace for it is in place. Everything's all dried up, the glue scraped off, and we've got our mask sleeve in place. Now this isn't glued in or permanently fixed yet. We can take it out uh, later to trim it and fit anything else that needs to go on the top deck. What we're going to do now is we're going to cut a stringer to go here on the stem. Six inch piece and then we'll hold it up along the stem and mark our angles for the top and the bottom cuts once we have the pieces over there. So we squared up the end already. So we need and it stops right before this big knot thankfully. So the blade is set at a 37 degree angle. Our fence is set the right distance back from the blade so that when we cut, it's going to take an angle about like that off. Then what we're going to do is we're going to turn the blade back to 90, flip the board over and make a vertical cut so it'll take that other triangle off right there. So first cut, second cut. Okay, so we've got our angles marked on the stringer. The problem is it's too steep of an angle to use the miter guide. So I'm just going to have to freehand it. We'll see how it goes. We're getting ready to attach a stringer to the aft end of the cockpit here to support the top of this lazarette panel. Now this panel is going to curve both this way and that way. So to do that we've put some curves in this piece for the stringer but it still does not want to meet that or follow that curve. So we're going to try steaming it. So here's our steam box set up. We've got a kettle and a burn barrel. This pipe is feeding steam into a coffee can in the center of that box. That coffee can caps the back end of this piece of PVC pipe. So we're just going to slide that in there. Close that up. And in about 45 minutes or so, that should be ready to burn, uh, bend. Alright, so what we're doing is we're getting all our nails set and ready. Uh, I'm going to get, right before I pull the piece out of the steamer, I'm going to glue along on this underside. We only have a limited time, so we're going to prep everything and do everything we can beforehand. So once that comes out of the steam box, there's minimal wait time until we get it put up. And Sammy's trying to get herself toasted. She just came back from a nice run in the woods. Let's see. Already got one steam burn today. Don't need another. Oh yeah. That's pumping it out nice. Okay, well, we got that stringer in. Like we did last time, we're getting everything 
prepped before we pull that out of the steamer. So I'm going to spread the glue on this half. Fire's still going. Still sees. Oop. Yeah, let's see, there's some steam coming out of there. Those pieces were in there just to keep it up off the bottom so the steam can get to all sides of it. We'll come back and pull that pot out after we get this in place. Okay, I gotta set the camera up. Alright, now here's where we gotta work fast before that piece cools down. There's glue on the bottom side. Might not be quite ready. Nope. Okay, try number two. It's only been a couple minutes. It hasn't even started the foam yet, so we're doing pretty good. So middle one, middle couple will be able to stay because they are going right into the keel. Okay, so this is all we're going to do on this portion for right now. We've got our two stringers in place. When we come back after the glue has dried, we'll scrape off the squeeze out. You can see how it's starting to foam up there. That'll bubble up quite a bit. So we'll scrape off the extra, come back, swap out all these screws. We'll come up from the bottom side, so that's secure and then we'll glue our lazarette in place and screw it into each of those stations.